want to say, I want to start here. This is my first time getting on one of these stages. Well, and thank so, you. We appreciate that. I don't. Thank you for coming up. You're welcome. Um, I don't want to do any disrespectful shit. I don't want to. I'm not arguing with anyone. There's some points that I would like to address here and there, but I don't specifically have anything to say at this moment. But, well, can I ask you a question? It's sure. something I've been wondering. Sure. Do you think the way you handled Van Lathan was fair with that tweet? Van Lathan and I had a conversation after, well, I had several conversations, maybe seven of them, all in an hour length. The end result being him crying on the phone with me. Um, he has apologized profusely, and there are things and details that you guys aren't privy to that can't be captured in 280 characters. But yes, I do. And when I reposted on my Instagram page, I said that I stand on my initial post. I am not backtracking. And that I posted that the day after he and I had spoke several times. Um, I stand on that post. But I also will say that I don't think he did it maliciously. I believe the phone calls that he made after declining interview or after he made his assessment of the situation where he called two men that were in, you know, part of the conversation to tell them what was discussed. And I think it was just foul and fucked up. It put women in very dangerous situations. And I think that happened because he was fresh on the scene and he was gullible and thought that these men were his friends or these people in the industry are friends. And they're not because immediately after the phone calls that he made, I was called. And I was told everything that was said. So there's that. Okay. I, 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 I do want to go on record and say the way that he did get dragged and, you know, was placed in the same tier as the two men. I will say that that's unfair because I don't know of him being a, an abusive man. I will say that his ass was a little bit too chipper and a little too chatty patty. And I told him this directly. And I think this he just ended up being collateral damage because he was fucking with two big dogs and putting women in very dangerous positions unbeknownst to him. Okay. Um, when you tweeted earlier that somebody on Joe's couch really does despise him, I did the math because you know me. You know, I be with the calculus and shit let me, like let that. Let me see who's talking. This is the Jameson guy? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's you know who Jameson that's is? No, 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 Jameson. I don't. I, I'm saying that because I, just, I you just... Uh, your previous um, moment with saying how, why would people lie? And I know what I know. That was just weird to me. So I just want to make sure I know who I'm talking to. Uh, my name's Will. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I got a little distracted. Um, so I did the math and that could basically either be ice or ish. I mean, this, one this, 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 isn't a, this isn't a tell all. This is, this is a group of people that know each other for well over a decade. We're talking 15, 20 years. So things go in waves and it is what it is, but they know what I said and not one of them will clap back or refute. So that's that. Yeah, but you didn't say anything to anybody directly. They know. Oh, okay. So you're saying the ones who know, know. If they know and anyone She's with, with the brain problems, cell basically. that can do a, a tad bit of math can figure that one out. Ah, damn. I got so, one more math. I only why, got it to ITH. Why, why right now when Diddy's going through all of this, like everybody's on the way. Well, here's the thing. That I, what I find funny about that is when people say why now, specifically when it comes to me, because I've been voicing my opinion for the longest time and my stance on things and my sentiment on things for a very long time, but it gets, it's gotten overlooked or it's gotten overshadowed and, you know, people automatically side with the person that has the power of the mic. So this isn't brand new. We can scroll back in my Twitter forever and a day on my Instagram forever and a day. I've always had shit to say. No, I get you on that one. No, I, I, I get you on that one, but you don't think that now that now is, is, is you know what? I'll be honest with you. Like now it's is, nasty. It looks nasty. I just, here's the like, thing. You don't think I that? don't, give a fuck about it seeming nasty. What's nasty is the things that are being done to women. 
That's nasty. I get that. And part. so me, That's me agreed. using my platform at a time now where there are people who are willing to accept the truth and embrace the truth, this is for them. This is not for the fan club that's going to refute and debate everything you have to say and say, oh, it's not the right time. And, oh, you're trying to get attention. This ain't for them because those people are going to be stuck on their ignorance and they're going to stand on their stance no matter what's being said. This is for the women and men who don't really know what's happening, who don't know the, the types of people that they're, they're, they're putting on a pedestal. Can I, can I ask you? No, I wouldn't say that. I want to ask Rocky another question. I wouldn't say that. So you alluded to the fact that Joe's been abusive for a while. You and Joe used to be cool. Did you see anything? He knows. Did you? I, well, forget see anything. I had my own situation with him that was broadcasted on national TV, the edited version, which millions of people thought that shit was fucking funny. Were you scared to go like to the police about Joe? Or anything? I, so here's the thing. Let me explain to you for myself in that instance. I was contracted to love and hip hop for six seasons. You understand? When you have a contract, you basically are waiving the right to sue and to do a lot of different things, right? Or they can sue you. Production days are $45,000 a day. You delay production, you are liable to get sued for those things. At that point in time, I was not willing to take that risk. Fast forward months and months later, after filming, I did a Vlad interview and he asked me the same thing. Were you willing to go to the police? And what I said to him was, I am not cut from that cloth. I wasn't raised on that side of town. And at 46 years old now, I understand that I was mildly ignorant in that way or upholding a culture that has done damage to people, myself included. But I thought that was some G-code shit to not call the police and handle things the best way I could at that time. But you were fucking with Joe like, the even after that, right? with DV, though? Oh. It, it's, it, you know what I but find dub, really funny? Dub, you know I, I guess really, you was really right funny? about what you say. I guess it was, like you say, it's so common in other relationships yes, and that, things. But I I, just, I, wanna, I, I don't think that's this. what it Can is at all. Wait, let, let me finish that thought. Yeah. There's several reasons why women in general don't go to the police, right? It's a cultural thing. We were raised under the no snitching banner. We're also aware that a lot of times the police don't give a fuck. There's so many women getting their ass whipped on a daily basis. We're just one in millions. Okay? There's that. There's also... Wait, so if you get your ass whipped, you're not going to the police? By you, wait, that's not what she's saying, y'all. How not many what she's times are black yeah, women and non-white women told that if you call the police on a black man, you're putting his life on the line? Don't call the police. Call your uncle. Call the neighbor. Leave. So don't save, don't don't save your life to save man. somebody's that, life who is domestically that is abusing what, you? That is what... Women that is what we have been taught. programmed with our entire that life. That's our culture, y'all. We know what's hey, yo, culture. Ain't lying. Somebody, people are saying that these she ain't making up no lie. People, people have said that, bro. No, 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 I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm not going I'm against just... people saying that they said that. I definitely heard that as well. But I'm saying it like I don't. <sighs> Just the you don't have you're, to you're agree. Arguing against it's just, it is what it is. I think we should. But just she also said she was ignorant, and I, you know, and I have when she was younger. So you, uh, yeah, yeah. Most people are ignorant when they're young. I, I want to give Rocky the space to speak, and I would love to ask her a question when she's done. There's there's also the element of the illusion of loyalty, right? Where. I don't want to even talk in general. Specifically to that situation, at that time, I felt that I had to have some form of loyalty to someone who I thought was a friend. And that's a joke. Someone who at that, yes. Someone who at that time was on drugs. Right? So the idea of going... Don't wow, don't wow on him, man. Don't wow on Joe too much, though. Don't what do you mean? It's, it's That's public... No. Can we just allow her to give her statement? Thank you. I, I know it's your space, Dub. I'm not trying to. Dub, you got to change the title. It's only going to work to best if she just like, if she's able to say what she what she wants to say. So at that time, he was what I considered a friend, and I gave grace. 
because I knew he wasn't in his right mind. And that's that on that. But, all right, so... So, he, you thought you it was said, a friend. Hold up, Nino, hold up, Nino. Can I, all right, go ahead. So we're not jumping her. So, we're not actually, I'm sorry, her. Grandpa Rick, you've been trying to go for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead let's go. Please, anyone else? So, <laughs> I, I, I really just want to ask you a question, sis. And I promise, like... I, I want to make sure you understand, like, I'm I'm never on men's side. That's just not who I am. I'm my, what I know does not allow me to be that, okay? Mm -hmm. The genuine question I have for you is just that, do you feel like there's a such thing as a redemp redemption arc? Like, I, I'm re I read through your teeth today. I read mm -hmm. through them myself, and I know you said, well, listen, if there was a redemption arc, he ended it when he did what he did to me in 20, I think you said 2018 or just a few years ago, right? My question to you is, is there a such thing as, and I, I don't believe in an expiration date on abusers at all. And <laughs> I, I'm very clear that narcissists and therapy are still narcissists. Okay, they're just mm -hmm. in therapy. And a lot of times they're taking what they're learning to what, learn how to abuse better. Okay, right. so that's not lost upon me. My question is, at what point is it on the victim to just heal, to let it go? Because it's not, it's, and I only say that to the extent that I'm not one of those people that, oh, if you don't forgive, it only hurts you. Da, da, da. I'm not one of those people. But you can't get water out of a, you know, turnip or what, a, what you know what I'm trying to say. You can't get juice out of a turnip or whatever the saying is, where He's not going to come back and say, okay, he, he's, I feel like when it, and I can't speak for Joe at all. I don't profess to speak for him. I'm not his attorney, but I don't think he, you're getting anything more than what you've already gotten. It's not going to be anything right. more. Right. So at what point do we say, okay, I'm not going to keep trying this because it's not working and I, I need to just, ret and I'm more so directing this towards Tahiri statements because it's been so long since they've been together. Mm -hmm. that where does the onus fall on on women to say listen let's just try to heal from this let me try to move on from this because me living in this trauma is not helping me that's really mm -hmm. right so to that i want to say that i can't i can't speak for tahiri or any woman but i like to say that women try to move on with their lives right but then there's things that are triggering right so take for instance an abuser speaking on something like the Diddy situation. It's just how fucking dare you. Right. And that's, that's triggering in itself. Um, to answer your question, as far as when, when will I take onus or just let it go? I have been vocal about this and I understand that this may be not the greatest stance and can come off as a bitter person, which I'm not afraid of that language either because there are, there are things that happen in life that will make anyone bitter right so for me it's been years where i've had opportunities taken off the table where i've had loss of wages etc because of the narrative that someone i consider a friend or the false narrative that someone I considered a friend planted on me. Every time I stick my stick my neck out to do something different, it's, oh, this is Rocky Thunder from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, this is Joe's ex-friend. Oh, this is the bitch that was obsessed with Joe. I still very much deal with that in this industry day in and day out, and it affects my livelihood. And so forgiving him when I did without an apology thinking that that may possibly change the landscape of my, my livelihood and my career for him to only turn around and go online and do this entire soliloquy about Rocky's crazy, Rocky's this and that when those documents leaked about him and his people, instead of taking accountability for that, he flipped it on me. And once again, the clock resets and I'm getting bashed by millions of people. I have executives that are like, well, damn, you and Joe are still going through it. And, and what's that? About? I, it, it's a lot for me. Yes. So if it comes off as bitter, I don't really care about that because I am bitter. I am hurt. I am devastated by it. Did you leak those documents, Rocky? Absolutely not. And it was 
proven. It was proven that I did not. The actual green screen is behind the scenes on those documents of Love and Hip Hop, a set that I had not been on for eons. So I have a follow-up question for you, and I'm not trying to take over the stage. I know other people probably want to talk to you, Rocky, because I'm hearing what you're saying. And I'm like, I'm a logic person. I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I'm all about women. I'm all about logic. I'm all about practicality. Like, that's just, I'm giving you my, where I'm coming from. So I don't want Mm -hmm. you to feel attacked because that's not. No, no, I I, I understand. And I appreciate your tone and 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 the line of questioning because I too, I'm, I'm, for the most part, an emotionally intelligent person. I pray. I meditate. If you guys can hear my voice, I'm a little bit, you know, shook up by this whole thing. I but can tell I you're have, upset. I, 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 I can tell I've this is really affecting you. That's years. obvious. It, I've had to, I had a clean slate prior to this whole love and hip hop situation, and I want to address that as well. Prior to love and hip hop, I think I was in another chat room. I think the guy dubs, I don't know anybody here, but some of the guys that was in another room earlier were saying, oh, when I first really got put on to Joe was through Love and Hip Hop and he's like a reality TV star. I brought Joe on Love and Hip Hop. That was my friend at that time. So I thought I brought him on Love and Hip Hop. So imagine how I feel years later that I opened that door for him at a time where people did not care about him. He was the guy that was getting punched in the face by Raekwon or whoever. He was the he was the quote unquote crackhead that didn't have a pot to piss in at the time. And I said, fuck it, let's do the shit together. And in a matter of 48 fucking hours, this dude flipped on me and my life has changed ever since. And what so went so wrong, Rocky? Say again. What went so wrong? What went so wrong with the show, with our friendship? With all of it. Like, how did this go from, this is my homeboy, I'm putting on to the show, to this nigga has ruined my life? Like, what happened? It literally was the se- Now, how you guys see the show, right? It may look like episode one, episode two. Ep- Sometimes you'll see an episode that was filmed in March. You'll see it and it'll seem like it was filmed in September. If you look at, okay, I can't even get into production details. Where things went wrong was within 48 hours of filming. That pool party was the first time Joe had sat with Tahiri or spoken to her in years. At that time, he still was very much still in love with that girl at that time which is on record joe was heavily influenced by the molly literally popping molly minutes before the fucking camera started rolling so when the love of his life is playing the role that she and i had agreed on like okay girl let's just get through this shit don't put your hands on me you know, let don't bring this up and I won't be mad. We can just throw drinks on each other and get through this shit. She's playing her role. I'm playing mine. The drinks get going and he snaps on me and drags me. And they don't show that on TV. Oh, no, they, I, I... Not, not only do they show it, they don't show the full extent, but they've shown it and they show it every fucking year of my life. So every year, whether it's Hulu or goddamn VH1, I'm getting bashed by new eyes of people who have never seen this show and I become that bitch again. Every single year of my life I have to see this shit. So no one can ask me, why are you still upset? Every year I have a new family member like, whoa, I never seen this. I I didn't know this about you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. And I don't get, I don't get, none of us get residuals for this shit. It affects my life every year. I, I'm about okay, to say that's, something. That's, that's I'm about to say something. You're not going to like what I have to say, Rocky. You're not going to like it, but I promise you it comes from a feminine place of love and understanding and belief. And I say that with Joe on the stage, right? 
you might need to move on from this. And by move on from this, I mean from all of it. Like, maybe it's not meant for you to be in entertainment no more. Maybe I, that I, was been... your arc. <laughs> and I'm not trying to say that in a mean way. I'm just trying to say, is that's, this that's still not fair affecting your life? Maybe, uh, maybe it's the rebrand. I, and I don't that think that's Rocky's genuine, point, though, right? And I say that from a place of support for you because I feel like there's not going to be a healing thing from, and I, this is me just assessing the situation. You're not going to, and I said this already before Joe was on stage, you're not getting more for Joe than you already got. I you don't want anything from Joe. That's, that's my I, I, point. That's, so if you don't want nothing from him and you're not getting anything else from him. So why you, you so gotta I, to, I, I have to be silenced and muted. I I, I can't have, use my own platform form to voice my own opinion. The you same can, but Rocky, what what I, what, wait, wait, I got whoa, 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 whoa. one One mic ass. Can I just ask a question? I'm not gonna do like too much. No, I just want to ask because you just said you didn't want anything from Joe. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm guessing I right now just what it is that you do want because you you mentioned it's your platform. You can speak on what you want, which you totally can. But if that's the case, wouldn't you speak on it on like any time you saw fit? It just seems that any time that there's this type of discourse no, it, no, is, is when is, is that this it is, particularly this is when, comes up versus you. No, just this is when people pay attention. This is when people pay attention. I've always voiced the same sentiment, the same opinion. It's just people pay attention when it's at the height. But this Rock, isn't anything new. Rocky, I feel you. But you were ta you're talking about a situation that happened around 2012, 2013. You've dealt with Joe after that, correct? Like, you, yes. you're saying I, it all I, went bad I, at the pool I party, but you, I yourself says... Mm -hmm. You also said that you had forgiven him and your relationship had moved on after that. So I'm right. guess I'm wondering, like, after what happened that, again? What happened? what happened again was a situation between him and someone else who I was the mutual party between both of them. And then I end up getting slandered online, being called, you know, all types of crazy and this, that and the other instead of him taking the accountability or her taking the accountability. So the clock got reset then. And I understand what you're saying, because like I said, I read that on your page. So it's like opening an old wound or, you know, picking out a wound that hasn't feel, he'll fully healed. I understand that. Thank you. My thing is just to say you. that we got to, this is self-preservation time. And I'm just saying that if I were you, that's the mode I would be in. Because what you're not going to get out of, you're not going to get the healing or the apology or the, what you're looking for is not coming. So what, I, I'd, I'd like, to, I'd like to understand what it is that you think I'm looking for. Because you keep yeah, the problem I don't think is you keep bringing it up for. and you say, okay, well, people only pay attention to me. When no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I did not say people only pay attention to me. Oh, okay. I'm I'm talking about the yeah, accusations was, when you when you say what you say about Joe. Like yeah. I'm not just saying you. Right. You're no, I, I I'm said not trying to the, say that. the eyes are on, the eyes are on my page at the time at the time when things are at its its heightened, its most heightened state, but. Right, but I, I'm not. But it's not like we're bringing otherwise. up a tweet that was from was two weeks ago when you're talking all. about it. You're like talking about it in 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 con in conjunction when it's happening. So yeah, people are gonna pay attention. It's different if you tweeted all that stuff two weeks ago and then you know now. Well, I think I, I brought this up a, up a couple weeks ago. You're pulling when... up a tweet from hours ago, from a day ago. I. Uh... I'm sorry, you lost me with that one. Yeah, I, I only, I don't know. My well, only thing that Grandpa Rick is trying to say. So, so for instance, so for instance, if I'm in a conversation about the Drake and Kendrick battle, I have full right to be in that space too. I get dragged by a whole bunch of incels. Oh, you just mad? Joe didn't fuck you, and Drake must. Oh, I and that's my that point. Shit. You're oh, making my point, time. Rocky. At what? some point, you got it. You're gonna have to. I, I don't want to be this person to you because. I don't, you're choosing I don't to know be. if you're in a space to f feel what I'm saying, but if you're really in a space of healing, like you're really trying to heal from it, you might have to let this go. Like you might need to completely rebrand to a whole new new person because the name Rocky is forever attached to what it's attached to. And, and, and I don't that know that, 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 is, that is unfair to me because I had 15 years prior to ever dealing with a I respect on any that. Level. I understand so that is not mean. okay to say that's unfair. I know and that's why that's I like telling Cassie, that's, Cassie hang it up I said that. Cassie hang it up because 
Diddy whooped your ass. No. Wait, no. wait, hold on. Are I you equate, are you equating That's not the same at all. Yeah, are you equating your situation to Cassie and Diddy? Who is right, fucking talking to that? For her, it might be. We can't we can't tell her how to feel. It's very clear that because we've heard kind of Joe Sion, it's two we have conflicting statements right now going on. So we're not gonna come on on here and tell Rocky how she feels because her perspective her perspective and her perception and her experience is that we can't take it from her. What I'm just saying, telling telling what? anyone that's what you trying to tell her to wrap it up though. Wrap it what? up. No, what you mean? You're literally you speaking out two ends of your ass right now. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're speaking out of two ends of your ass. First, it's like I'm so pro woman and I'm Thank so you. this, but now it's like shut your ass up because you're not getting no sorry, bitch. Shut real. up. You sound crazy. crazy. You, hey, when, hey, that's this right what I this what I be talking about right here. And speaking out against so, Joe, and she's so right now, she's spinning her wheels. So it's right now, hurting her. This man I, continues I, to be the number one. Nobody podcaster. can't. Nobody can't he hear you, to Grandpa. Flourish. Nobody's gonna hear. stop watching his podcast. Nobody's gonna stop waiting on him to drop another album. I'm not speaking out of my ass. Sometimes the best thing you need to hear is the thing that hurts you or it pisses you off, and that's why it, I it neither me. hurts. She's not gonna like hurt. what I have to say. I said that. Yeah, that neither that neither hurts yeah. or affects me in any way, shape, or form. I I don't agree. Grandpa, with you, you were I don't breaking up. I don't think people caught it. Nah, we heard I, her. My only point is to say heard, that yeah. I am pro woman. I do think the best thing for Rocky is to move on because it's not. This is not helping. That's my point. That I've assessed the situation. I don't know you at all. It's, I'm well, only giving you, know you what? a third it's, party, it's help, it's situation, a third party view, that and I don't help. think that this is going to improve what you're, you the outcome you're looking for. You're not going to get. From yeah, what is your goal? That's what I'm saying. I think that's what Grandpa. The bigger question. That was my original what, what's your question because she said she didn't want an apology from Joe. So I asked, well, what did And you I already want? said she's not getting like anything more for Joe. I can tell you that right now. But, you got said, but when you said that, when you said that, Grandpa, her response was she didn't want shit from Joe. So my question to her at that point was with, well, what do you want at this point? And what do you want to see when you, you know, talk about it or bring it up? What is the action what's or the outcome song? that yeah, you're looking exactly. for? Exactly. Or are you just expressing yourself? That's fair, okay. also. It is fair, and I do think she deserves to use I'm, her platform I'm, how I'm, she sees fit. I am expressing myself. I mean, it did sound like you was playing both sides. Yeah, of you said I'm pro woman, but wrap this shit up. Wait, That's we not, gotta I make never, a choose a side. My mouth, and I hate that, Nina. Never, so, never. Put Rocky, it in my mouth. Rocky, me Rocky. What I said you said Rocky. Mouth. What did it sound like she said to you? Wrap this shit up, right? I got a call. I no, don't know you're that... putting words in my mouth. You interpret it that way. I only told her that the the healing that she's going to look for, she's maximized it out of what she's doing. She's no, never going to do more what you also of said, you, What you also said is that I might need to consider that it's uh, it, it's not meant for me to be in certain Rebrand. Wrap the Rebrand. Rocky name I, up. Rocky dreams. That's what I said. I'm sorry. I said you need to rebrand. It might not be the but the rebrand Rocky. from what? It wasn't like had, like you got to become a different. You can't be right. I have anymore. to become a different person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I, that's I, I have I to become said. a different what person. What I'm going to say is going to piss you off because you might not be ready. I to mean, I it. think you might want to not say it then. Why don't you choose to be a pro woman and, and not why, try to piss I, me I, off? How I about that? I, I'm talking to the stage now because I want to be clear that sometimes when you're telling somebody something they need to hear. Especially if it doesn't feel, and this is why I was going on and on about emotions, because emotions will stop you from your logic, because it might not feel. She feels that this is being unfair to her, and she's probably right. Let's keep it a bean. As women, the we logic suck is do everything, and, and with that being said, and with foot. that being said, I just want to say something. With that being said, I had fallen back from anything, TV, radio, podcast, all of the things. I went behind the fucking scenes. Do what do you do right I've now? Been, right? I've been offered several different deals. I actually was offered to go back on the next I season of Hip Hop. I decided I to think. fall back and give up on my dreams because of this situation. But have you really given them up because you're? But why Grandpa, should I go? Why should I? Grandpa, I think the disconnect a little bit here is 
and you what you're suggesting could be very well a valid suggestion, but you're making your suggestion seem as if that's going to be the solution and the one end all and be all and only solution I guess she has versus no, I don't you know, that's not maybe... why I wanted to go with that. I was just I was giving her the peaceful solution because what she's doing right now is not working. Can we all agree to that? And, right and now, not working for who though? Maybe that just needs to, to be a, you know what? Make and that's peace why we asked you what your goal is. is because if you can establish yeah. what your goal, if it's just to express yourself. That's fine, but you're going to invite more harassment. You said you're getting harassed every time. You it, might say something so, about the Drake so and Kendrick I get, beef, and so they're harassing while I'm, while I'm quiet, while I'm silent, I get harassed. And when I say something, I get harassed. So I might as well talk my shit and reveal the truth. I'm or like, you could rebrand where they can't find you. What is that? Can, 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 can we let some about? other people cook? Let's get some of these yeah. questions in. Hold on. Let's get some of these questions in. Let's get some of these questions in. Please, let's, let's, let's say, ways, let's, let's 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 say respectful, right? And let's let's reset. Have you guys say? Let's reset questions. the room, and, and let's yes, keep proper yes, tone. Yes, yes. All right, I am. I am. You had your your hand up for a long time. Are you going to speak, Lovelace? All right, Lovelace. Yeah. Get your, get Yo, and, and I'm, I'm just now getting a text that I, I I'm I don't know. This is my first time in one of these spaces where I'm actually speaking. Apparently, this is a a fan club room Yo. or something like that. So. Rocky, I, I was just going to say, I know you knew here, but uh, Grandpa yeah. Rick is antagonistic with everybody, no matter what the is. argument is. The girl that's, that you've been talking back and forth with, okay. this is normal in every room she's in. Um, so okay. please don't feed into it. Um, I, I like respect the, I you like sharing your truth. Who am, don't, who am I talking to? I don't know. Uh, Lovelace. I'm, I'm, I'm right Lovelace up here. Lovelace with no uh, picture. Okay. No, I got a picture. I got a picture. I'm not okay. one of them weird niggas. I got a no, picture. No, no, I just don't. Uh, I just was wanted to locate you. So I was just going to say, I appreciate you sharing your story and all of that. I don't know you. I don't know Joe. So I can't come in and say what's true or not true. And I think that's where a lot of people get it twisted. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not even going to go and say what's your goal or anything. I just feel like people are not familiar with you. So they are like, you're trying to capitalize off of other people's pain. So I would like you to more so speak to that. Because I know you said you've been talking about this for years. But just speak about it to the people that who are not familiar with you on why you feel like you got to keep going as hard as you've been going the last few days. The last few days. Well, that's what I mean. That's where all your messages have blown up. I'm not I know I like I went and scrolled through your stuff. And I know you've been talking about it, but I'm saying for the people who are unfamiliar. I think part of it and this is just being fully transparent. I don't know if this room is on that type of vibe. But for me, because I have stepped back, because I've let a lot of my goals and dreams fall to the wayside because of the constant harassment or the constant bullshit I'm faced because of this situation, I think sometimes I step out there in the fire so that so that I can personally build up callus and move forward because this shit does affect me and it does bother me. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. So, you, so, hey, I mean, I have no problem with it. You get your shit off. I know Joe said what he said in the past about all these accusations and everything. And there's always three sides to a story. It's your story, his story, and then there's the truth. So, we know what time it is. Thank you. I got, I got a question, Rocky. I'm listening. Given that you are so familiar with the harassment that could come from people online for whatever reason, do you think it's a little unfair to subject other people to that, which one could argue you may have done in these last couple of days? Other people like who? I would say if we mentioned Van Lathan earlier. I would say you talked about Amani um, today. Um mm -hmm. Just speaking on anybody and, and realizing that this could fuck up their day, fuck up their life. You know what I mean? Do you feel in, like, does that cross your mind at all? Or are you just kind of like, fuck it? So I think you're basing that question on just knowing the one side, which is my side, where I mentioned those people's names. But you do not know what happens behind the scenes and how I've been betrayed by people, the same people I've mentioned. I don't just wield out names for no reason. You understand? So Amani, Amani should understand why I came out the way I did with him. And I've and, and on record, I've always looked at Amani like 
a little brother. And Imani is fully aware of things that have happened throughout the years. And he's been the quote unquote neutral party on all sides. And then things got real shaky. And then things switch. When positions and roles and things in life happens, people switch up and start singing a different tune. And it's disappointing and fucked up. So basically what I got from you, what you just said was, because these people didn't have my back, I'm, no, I'm, nope, I'm nope, willing to nope, kick their nope, back. No, 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 no. Okay. No. If I'm wrong, let me know. Yes. No. It's not about having my back because these people did have my back. So Imani had my back as far as I'm concerned. Right? Okay. Well, if he had your back. And then... was neutral and was very neutral. But there were situations that happened not long ago, 2000. Hmm, whatever that was, 2020, whatever it was. And Imani stands on things switched. I feel that. My question just is in regards to making something public and then knowing that that... No, you he, just well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you know that you have skeletons in your closet, if you know that there's people out here that you had a particular stance with, and then you go on a platform you can't expect for someone not to, to, to come back and like, that is bullshit. That, that's the arrogance of men. Stand down. But don't but, flip-flop publicly for millions of people to hear and expect the people that actually know you, know you for real, not to pull your coat. But I'm, I'm saying, Rocky, I feel that. But then I'm just going back to the harassment that you said that has traumatized you. Why would you subject that to somebody who at one point you saw like a little brother, who you said had your back, who you said played somewhat of the middle like because the why difference do that is that my my words are based on fact i've been harassed and dragged and 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 blackballed and sabotaged on bullshit nothing nothing that has real fact attached to it so are you saying that it's okay for that to happen to somebody else if there's facts attached to it it's okay for some. Hey, Will, mute up. up. Umani's up here. Umani's up here. So, I Will, got mute up. Umani did. Take him down. Maybe I got to bring, take some people. Yeah, down. probably take him down and bring him back up. Take, take me down, though. Take me down. Uh, Once again, I'm gonna. I'm on record. I'm not doing disrespectful shit. I think we've been keeping it yeah, respectful. You guys, so whoever's whoever's gonna be new to the stage, we all know we all have each other's phone numbers if necessary. We all know local. I don't think a manny would try you, and that's just me guessing. I don't know him, but Please, I'm and, just saying. And he, sh and he shouldn't. Yeah, what's good, y'all? Dub, you're so messy. You're like, so messy. You done hyped this man up, and she didn't even say nothing that bad about him. She just said she was a little she disappointed. Said a lot of bad stuff about That's him. it. And you no, done cried him coming here and cussed this woman out. I hope you happy with yourself. But you could have, you could have let him kind of source that, you know, a semi on his own. You, the man at dinner, you, it's it looks messy because you already in here talking to her, but then texting him on the side. Oh yeah, come in here, like. Can we let Rocky back up? Him coming here. That's my man though. That's not what I, I mean, said. if that's your man, then why you even let her on the stage to talk to, to do this? Feeds what? Speak well, to no, this man. Because if that's your man, you don't let her come up after she Grandpa said what Rick, she said. Grandpa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop for a second, Grandpa Rick. You wanted to ask the questions. I didn't want to speak to her. You wanted to ask the questions, and Jameson wanted to ask the questions. I brought her up here for that reason only. I didn't tell her. Asked I asked the tell questions. I told her okay. the whole time. The whole time, I told her it was nasty work. The whole time. I was asking her, yo, why are you doing this right now? That was my whole I don't thing think platforming her the was the worst thing. It was when you text Imani that it got ugly because honestly, no, 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 no. I had to text Imani. Say? No, no, no. She was talking. No, no, no. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. Duh, we can't hear you, bro. Bad night, my, somebody was calling me. But she was talking nasty about Imani, like super, super nasty. So I had to text him and let him know what's going on. You crazy? That's crazy. 
All Can we let Rocky back on the stage? She was a little hurt and disappointed. That's it. Did you text him now or did you say she ain't here talking crazy about him? Da, 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 da. Nah, I just said Rocky, Rocky ain't here talking about you. That's it. All right. Yeah. I ain't go crazy. You know, I ain't do that. But, uh, but yeah, but nah, she went crazy though. She was disrespecting. OD disrespecting. She didn't disrespect. Uh, she did not disrespect him. We it were actually all there, talking like adults. It, niggas was having a civilized you conversation. All kind of bitches you it, did, it didn't start there, bro. Let's not. I, I, it's not fair to paint Rocky like she was just in here wilding the fuck out or no crazy shit like that. That's, That's not, not what was going on. Niggas was talking. Oh, she started crying and then y'all and then she didn't cry. Work. How was that a problem? Bro, bro, she she talking about some emotional shit. I'm telling you what happened. I'm not. I'm just saying she started crying. And then Grandpa Rick started getting on her side, and then that's when she started going in. I was I don't quiet take sides. I gave her my legitimate, and then people said I was being antagonistic. Got their ass fucking blocked. But anyway, nobody follows you. We don't give a fuck. That's okay. You won't see me either, bitch. Like your mama. Anyways, back to hey, what I was saying. Bet, bet, back bet to what I was you. saying to Rocky. I, honestly, I feel like Amani coming up here kind of further shows what I was originally saying, which is that this is not going to go far. Like, this is, does not end with a, a white horse and a picket fence for you. Like, that's why I think I, I think we kind of do need to establish what the goal is. Because if it's just to express yourself, you got to consider, is it really worth it? Because look at what it's bringing about. You've expressed yourself. Now I'm money bad. Now niggas are harassing you. Now we're in a space. People judging. Now it's all the shit when... I mean, at what point do we choose peace? That's what I'm, that's what I'm about. Don't you want to choose peace? Dub, are we gonna let Rocky back on the stage or not? Tell somebody about them. Read some shit. Who am I, Will Kelly, the referee? Who are you to text oh, Imani talking about that's my friend, that's my boy? You're a dick rider. You're a nut guzzling ass nigga. Whoa. Whoa, Straight language. Up. Language. Yeah, it is gonna be that because after I get called every bitch in the book and y'all sat there and let that dude. Talking about shut that bitch up and then cut my mic off. Yeah, yeah that, that was crazy, nice. Grandpa that Rick. Because you're fair. supposed to stand up for women, Grandpa Rick. That was, was crazy. You let him do that. Serious. Not the time. Nah, nah Grandpa Rick right supposed to be so at, at, the, at the end of the day, I stand on what I stand on. I looked at Imani as a brother. He can't say I didn't know his. Stop, Imani, boy, please, y'all, y'all believe this bullshit if you want to. Yo, Rocky, I really don't think it matters. Rocky, Rocky hold on. You, you think Imani hold on, did hold that on, by himself? Who's talking about Rocky? Hold on. You hold on. Rocky, you think Imani did that by himself? Jameson, is that you talking? Because you need to pipe down a little bit. Because Yes. You, you really take your career. And I don't even know you, but I don't like your voice or nothing. <laughs> That's funny. But we are having a serious conversation. You do. You really think he did that by himself? Does this, does this motherfucker ever make sense, y'all? Because am I confused or what? No, he's been, All right. he's, Maybe he's I'm been not made a fool of. I don't know if you know who Rory Farrell is, but he embarrassed him. Oh, listen, we ain't got to get back. It's, it's old news. It's old news. We're not going to bring all that up. That was that was yeah. the old, that was Jameson, y'all. I don't even know that dude. I mean, he had to change his name. That should tell you what you need to know. The moral to the story is, can we get to the end of this? Because I don't want this to... I don't like how any of that went. Rocky, to be honest with you, I don't I'm I don't rock like that. That all was very nasty. Even Joe said it was nasty. Everybody agrees it was nasty. The self-reflection. Moral to the story, Rocky, like, what's the end goal to this? We need to get I to the end of this. I told y'all already. Because I don't want this to be I'm, I told y'all. I express myself just the same way everyone in this room expresses themselves when they want to express themselves. Y'all have opinions. Y'all tweet. Y'all put shit on your pages of people y'all don't even know who you have no experience with so when i tweet and i say whatever i want whether i'm in a good vibe or not let me do my fucking thing why am i up, why am i upheld to i can't have an opinion because these are these are your these are your faves like it doesn't that shit doesn't make rocky sense. you can have an opinion but you don't be thinking so how someone responds earlier is like the opinion tends to come out when the topic the opinion is is, is about a static. something else that isn't joe but when anybody gets a chance to bring it up and when someone else is being talked about it's like oh yeah let me let me throw this joe shit back in the air versus again it being a random fucking wednesday and you're talking about one it, well i I've, I've said what i had to say on random wednesdays and yes when the when the heat is up yeah it's a perfect time for me to say some shit 
Why not? When there's people that see the same thing I see, when there's people that say Joe's not qualified to discuss certain things because of his own transgressions. Yeah, it's a perfect time. Well, people can just, just. I, but just when you get a response, somebody. you can't be shocked. I'm yeah. not mad at the response. That's fucking fine. I'm not shocked about shit. I know I act these motherfuckers. I don't go, throw, I, I don't do subs. I act. Can I say something? Because we started this with this is affecting your career and your everyday life, right? Yes. So, so I'm when I when, so yes, so when I'm triggered, when I'm triggered, or when someone takes a platform and blatantly lies about things that we, as a collective, know otherwise, yes, I jump bad. Where is the fault in that? I'm getting yes, so I'm getting my ass up by this acting. shit anyway. Like yeah, you you you're defending yourself in that moment, but is it helping your end goal or is it or is it hurting it? That's what I was trying to get at to begin with. It's it's neither it's neither or. The 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 blessings that come to me, they come to me regardless. But there has been situations where men like dubs who think motherfuckers is their friends and think they know the truth of things. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck with those situations when those executives or decision makers feel, oh, Joe's my friend. Oh, he has the hottest podcast ever, and you're. Yes, I gotta deal with yes. that shit. So yeah, I lash out. I mean, you and this is something. Some, this is something Joe could have made right a long time ago. And I know he's on the stage, but he's not going to do it. That no, was I'm not yeah. saying he's going to do it. I don't want him to. That's long overdue. So now that that time has passed, when I choose to express myself, let me do me. Y'all yeah, telling but, me not to? For what? Y'all say it. He, he, Do you he, care about your own peace? Do you care about your happiness and being free and clear of mind and, and one with self? Is that anything on the agenda? Like when you think of your, when you wake up in the morning, is that any part of your list of things you want to achieve for today? <laughs> and does this help or hurt that? That's my, that was my whole point to begin with. Like if I you're could having, I could be having the most peace. blissful, I could be having the most blissful, peaceful day and some shit will fall right in my lap. Or someone will call me and say there was a conversation being held behind the scenes about you with these two particular people. And I got to deal with that. So let's not question whether I want peace or I, if I just stay on fire. I live a very, very charmed life. There are instances where I am triggered by things that are happening behind the scenes because of these situations. Rocky, if you lived a charmed life, then why do any of this? Why tweet about it? Why, why start the mess? I don't doubt that you lived a charm life. I'm not going to question that because I believe people when they talk. So if you say you lived a charm life, then I believe you. My big thing is like, if your end goal is... Why, why, does any, why, why does anyone have an opinion? Why is anybody in this room? I'm sure people have kids and jobs and, and they got to check in, kids, they got to clock right. in. Why does anyone say anything? I'm watching the Timberwolves game. This is I feel like this, I feel like this doesn't... You, we talked about like, my job is not impacted by me being on the stage. I, I feel like your career is, though. You're you're sharing with us that when you go to get certain gigs or certain opportunities, they're bringing up this Joe Budden situation, right? And so it's impacting you. So I, I'm not going to say that you shouldn't speak on it because at the end of the day, you, you that's your platform. But So, it's, so it's, it's, it ends up being a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. So at times, it yes, is. I get very, it very... It truly is. Wait, so wait, 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 the wait. Best. So, yes, at times I do get very, very frustrated at the fact that I have to deal with some shit that is not based on fact. It was based on a false Joe narrative Wilson. that someone who I considered a friend helped usher in. Joe, shot and told. Joe, you got your hand up? Yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. Just for clarity, what's the Joe Budden situation? <laughs> not the <Yeah>. time. <laughs> Well, I'm just curious. Yo, Tub, you goaded for this space, bro. As to, like, are you saying that he is the reason behind the scenes as to why things aren't working out? Like, are you saying that he has a hand in that? Like, is that what you're saying? Or are you just saying that because that situation happened with you guys, that it becomes, you know, an issue with work for you? The what latter. is the situation? The latter. Okay. So what's the resolve for this for you? Because you, I don't, I don't want to argue with you regarding saying your piece. Like you said, everyone is entitled, right? 
but what is the resolve? What, what's the end of this look like for you? Like, what do you need for this to be resolved? There is no resolve. So then this will be ongoing behavior? That's what I'm asking. Like, how to, to, in, correct how me do, if I'm wrong. It just sounds like she just wants to talk about it when she wants to talk about it and wants to be left alone when she talks about it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so grandpa, then she doesn't want to resolve this. I'm with you, Grandpa. Yeah, it doesn't sound sorry, like she actually said, Yeah, because what I'm getting, there is no actual, like, I've yet to hear, like, what, a solution. But like you guys are looking. Yes. You guys are looking it's for a solution. More of, I want to talk about I'm it. Expressing it's my myself. Truth. Let me talk have... about it. Mm-hmm. Rocky, that's expression is cool, but when it no, she, when I it hurts, I don't want to talk to you. Let her let her say her piece. She was about to say what exactly. Even if there isn't a, a resolve for this, what does the end of this look like? Because your life is currently charmed. So one would think that on a charmed vibration, you would not need to come back down to this low vibration to explore this I would again. Lo- I would love, now, while- I would love, I mm-hmm. would love for that to be the case, but I'm constantly reminded in spaces, this does not go away. The Google Pages does not go away. Anytime so I what, what Google, are the Google? So what, what should what should what what are the pages saying? And what does Joe need to do? Like, what exactly are you looking for from him to help you get past? There's this? there's nothing he can do to help me get past this. That well, Joe, time you got your came, hand up. That, that hand time up. came and went. I'm not looking for anything from Joe. You just want to say your piece. All right, you just okay. want to get I to have I have I have stated in this room. That there are times where I'm faced with fucked up opinions or situations not panning out for me because situations that Joe and I have gone through. And so, so you're saying those me. situations have stopped you, but they mm-hmm. have not stopped him. He has the power of the mic. He's brilliant he at what question. he does. He I've never question. taken that away from him. He raised his hand and then he put it down as you was talking about I've never taken that away from him. He has the power of the mic. He, obviously, he has a fan base by the millions. So and I do you no think that there's something that he could do to help open up these doors for you? So are you kind of just harassing him at this point? I was like, no, so I don't think this is a woman. Stop this for is a woman. You know, you got an open wound and she don't want to heal it. You can't, you can't walk around with a with a gunshot wound. You just uh-huh. can't. You will, you will die from that. You got to embrace some type of health measure to try to fix the wound. You can't just say, well, I got a wound and I'm just going to have the wound and that's it. We got to have a I, I hear what you're saying and that, that sounds really cute, but do you hear what I'm saying? This would be, if this was just something that happened and it's She's been saying water, this isn't just emotional, bridge. this is situational for her. So I'm asking you, do you think that Joe can resolve some no, of these situational no, things? No, absolutely not. So there then how do you there expect, was... how do you want him to be held accountable for the fact that you're walking into rooms and those doors are being closed to you? What should he do? There is nothing that he would ever do. Well, why? Like that was my like original point. Do, so why uh, we either got to heal the gunshot wound or, or we got to leave the hospital? But we can't just keep screaming out in pain. That just can't be the solution. We, I'm just gonna scream out in pain anytime I'm triggered. That can't be it because it's not helping you. It's actually making it worse because the incels come out every time you do it. Am I tripping? No, oh, that's, that's real. No, I mean, uh, it's, it's, God, it's, you got your hand up. And I don't like to agree with Grandpa, but damn. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I'm just saying, I think y'all are missing what she's saying. What she's saying is, I got a gunshot wound. Like I said, let's use your example. I got a gunshot wound. I passed it up the best way I can. But every time I walk out in a public space, I got a motherfucker saying, hey, you got shot. Hey, you got shot. What happened to you? Hey, you got shot. What happened to you? I think it's just more like, let me put it out there. Let me speak my truth about it. So I don't have to keep repeating the same shit over and over and over and over and over again when people ask me this shit. That's what it sounds like she's saying. But she keeps doing it, and it's not helping. That's why she keeps doing it. it She's not doing it for help. She's not doing it for help. What is it? What is it? What is it? Really? What's the gunshot wound? We, you asked I'll before, and I don't know. So, Rocky, if you could just elaborate on the things that I, you I'm, say. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to play that game with Joe. I'm she, not she did this before. Did he paint you a I'm certain not, way not, in the media or the. Absolutely. 
Okay, so Absolutely. you think he painted you a certain way well, as the mad woman or a disgusting person, any of that. All and of the you above. think the thing is to continue to bring this up where people are saying, hey, this is what's affecting you. So I'm going to keep talking about what's affecting me. And like Grandpa said, you kind of got to get a get a. I, and I, and, and I, do, I do under, I, I do understand where you guys are coming from, but it's so crazy how I'm being therapized for the, 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 the situation that is affecting my life, but yet all grace is given to Joe and all of his transgressions. It's not all grace. Have you seen Twitter? Well, 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 you, you, guys, have you, you seen Twitter today? You can't jump on her like that when she says okay, this. But I, I, I do want to say to you and express to you that what I was trying to do was more an, like ask questions so that hey, who's talking? Wait, I just who, who's talking? So I know. Love, uh, love, uh, face. love. Hi, La I don't have my glasses. Lavita. Lavita, hi. Yes. Um. So uh, let me just say this: I'm not someone who is privy to your professional background or what have you, so I don't know too much about you. But what I am being introduced to of you is this. Now, I would love it if I was introduced to you, uh, to you of knowing more about you, because I'm sure that you have more than this to give us. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And I, would I say know that you that do. Part of that, part of the reason why you may not have heard of me until today is because I've been silenced by these situations and I've stepped back and I've let go of my career path and things that I was doing because of this. Because every time that I've stepped out, I was faced with an uphill battle because of this situation that I won't go into, Joe. All right. This seems like it's going in circles. Yeah. All right. Um, I ordered Ruby Eats. I'm good. I'm sorry if anybody thinks I was being messy. I was just trying to be fair. But um, Rocky, I wasn't trying to bring you up here to yell at everybody and curse at everybody. I was definitely that, just trying stop, to stop, stop! Don't uh, do that. Hold on for a second. 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 I definitely, uh, Grandpa Rick and Jameson, they wanted to speak to you. They was talking to you in the beginning. You could be honest. And from the beginning, I said I didn't like it. I asked you why. The same question I asked you in the end. When you brought up Imani, I just felt that it was right because I thought that he was in anonymous, to be honest, but he wasn't. But I thought he was. So I was like, I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Do that. But um anyway, so that's why that's my take on that. And yeah, it is what it is. It's all love. I hope you do heal. And it, it sounds like a lot. Um, I do like the Joe Button podcast a lot. It's a fire podcast. I watch it all the time. Congratulations. I do, to you. I do a lot of videos. You ain't gotta come at me so hot or crazy, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it is. I what think it what is. you did, I think what you did was really lame. I think we did was I mean, really, listen, really lame. It's it's different opinions for different different strokes with different folks. I mean, you can have your opinion. I mean, it is what it is. I think what you're doing is is crazy too. I don't want to say it's lame, you know, but some people would. But it is what it is, and um, you know, it, it's just just call it that. I mean, so love. Let's remember, yeah. we are black. And we are all black. And you listen, I'm about to get a body oh, and get my food. One love. I'm about to end this space. Rocky, I hope uh, to hear more about what you do and your talent in the future. I hope you find some way to get back on track with that. I would love to hear what you have to offer. And I hope I don't hear any more with you and Button. I hope it's all about Rocky because I know you have something to offer more than this. So I look forward to it. And the only way to lose Rocky is to quit. For real, for real. Keep going. And I just want to Say there was, no, uh, I just want to say there was ladies on the space. I let the ladies up here. Oh, love to the ladies that was here. I just want y'all to know that. Joe, you can, go, you can say what you got to say, Joe. Is there an afties anywhere? Yeah, somebody throw the afties. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. No, dead ass. Okay. This needs to be unpacked. I thought we were going to start up.